Hello everybody and welcome back to another CB Showtunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering a very basic flying script uh, which of course you can add to your character. Now right now we're working with an FPS character so if you don't have an FPS character you can still use this script uh, just keep in mind that you will need to add animations for it as well. Okay so for our demonstration here you see our normal character walking around um, you know, running, store stuff like that. We have our hop, and of course, if we double tap uh, spacebar, then we start flying. Of course, if we let go, we start falling, and we have a very good simulated physics. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what we have here. So the first thing that you're going to need is obviously uh, the setup for your scene, which is our ground. Now, we're not going to be putting anything special on our ground. We just need something for our object to interact with or something for our object to collide with. Um, the next thing that you're going to need to do is have a player object. Now, me, of course, I'm using a capsule collider. If you have an actual player, go and use that. And on this capsule collider or player, uh, you will need a rigid body. And, of course, on the constraints, I froze the rotation for the X, Y, and Z. Uh, that's pretty, you know, standard for character. And, of course, we added this script, which we will cover that in a couple seconds. And I will also post that script inside the comment section below. Okay, if you notice, we have our main camera dragged onto our player. And, of course, set up to the top right here. You can have this set to wherever you want it to be. You can drag it out there, you know, wherever you want it to be. Uh, I currently want it right there. And make sure, as I said before, that it is a child of the player. If you don't have it as a child of the player, it looks something like this. Simply select your camera and drag it onto the player. And voila. And last but not least, we have a empty game object, which I called World Control. And this, of course, is going to contain our physics script, uh, which controls the gravity of our scene. Uh, so we're going to cover that real fast. I'm not going to put this script inside the uh, comments section below, mainly because it's only like, what is it, four lines or so. It's very easy. Okay, so we're going to cover the world control script first, and then we'll get into the other. So, as you can see, the world control script for gravity is very simple. We're going to create a public float called gravity strength, and then underneath the void update function, we're going to put physics.gravity is equal to a new vector 3, zero, negative gravity strength, and zero. Now keep in mind this will take up CPU or RAM, whichever one your computer is depending on. Um, so once you have your set gravity, make sure that you do um, put this inside the void start function instead. Uh, that way it will only activate once instead of it be active per frame. Okay, so as for our player control script, let's go and save that. We're going to roll to the way top, and I'm going to explain step by step what we have here. So at the way top, you're going to notice that we have a rigid body, RB. That's going to be used for setting up our physics for our flying. It's also going to be used for um, pretty much just the jumping and all that fun stuff. We also created a public bool called is flying. And of course, another one called is grounded. Um, really self-explanatory there. If we're flying, then you know this is going to be equal to true, else it's not. Uh, if we're on the ground, this is going to be true. If we're not, you know it's going to be false. Yeah, like I said, self-explanatory. Um, we have public floats called walk speed, run speed, or R speed, uh, fly speed, fly boost, mouse sensitivity, jump height, and float force. Uh, these all are going to be really self-explanatory. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can figure that out along the way. But um, just in case nobody really knows what the W, R, and whatever is for, uh, we'll get into that down below. Okay, and lastly, for these, uh, I guess you could say, uh, variables that we set up, we're going to create a private float called G speed, F speed, mouse X, and mouse Y. So, obviously, G speed is ground speed. F speed is fly speed. Mouse X is going to represent for um, rotation forward and back. And mouse Y is going to be representing 
looking. Okay, underneath the void start function, we're going to put RB, which stands for rigid body, is equal to get component rigid body. So we're grabbing this rigid body as a reference and calling it RB. Next, we're going to put is flying is equal to false and is grounded is equal to false. We can go ahead and change that to actually true because, you know, we're on the ground. Okay, void update. We're going to put var gx is equal to input dot get axis horizontal multiplied by g speed. So basically what we're doing here is we're going to be creating multiple versions of horizontal axes, calling it by either gx for ground x and fx for um, flying x. And of course, we're just changing the speed variable from ground speed to flying speed per if we're flying or if we're on the ground. So same thing with the z-axis. We're going to put gz is going to be multiplied by g speed. And of course, fz is multiplied by f speed. Uh, this is very similar to almost every single script that I've used for character development and all, so uh, just keep that in mind as well. Okay, mouse x minus is equal to input duck at axis mouse y multiplied by mouse sensitivity. Basically saying we're just getting our, um, I guess you could say look axis. And of course, for the second one, mouse plus is equal to input duck at axis mouse x multiplied by mouse sensitivity. And that's going to be getting our turning axis. Okay, so right here, as you can see inside the comments, preset boost and basic speed settings. Um, if input dot get key, key code dot left shift, basically saying if we hold down our left shift, um, G speed is equal to R speed or ground speed is equal to run speed. Fly speed is equal to fly boost. Else, ground speed is equal to walk speed and fly speed is equal to fly speed. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's self-explanatory. Um, so yeah. Okay, so for set physics and movement, as you see here, we're going to be setting the basic movement for our character, uh, assigning the values for our transform, so deciding how much speed we're moving. Uh, we're also going to be deciding our clamp on our mouse or our look direction, so if we can look all the way down or if we can look all the way up. And of course, we're going to be setting our rigid body's drag. So the higher up your drag is, the less you're going to be dropping or the slower you're going to drop. Well, the lower your drag, the faster you're going to drop. Okay, so if is flying, rigid body dot drag is equal to one. So we're now going to be at a higher rate. It, you can adjust this as well uh, to be even greater. That way, you know, you can decide, okay, this is way too little. We need to go greater than that or less than that. It, it really depends on your game. Then of course we're going to say mouse x is equal to math f dot clamp. And we're going to put mouse x as our first variable and negative 90, 90. Okay, and we're going to put transform dot translate fx comma space zero comma space fz. So basically our flying input. Inside this we're also going to be putting um, if we're going to be moving up and down. So we're going to say if input dot get key key code dot space and rb.addForce transform.up multiplied by float force and then force mode force. And if you want to, uh, you can add in a separate, uh, I, could, I guess you could say variable. Let's paste that. Oh, actually put two of them. So if you can paste that right there and then change this value to be something, say, for instance, um, I don't know, tab. Then you could just change this from being up to down. Actually, not that. Just change this to a negative float force. And then you can go down by holding down tab. Currently, I don't need that, nor do I want it, so I'm not going to worry about that. So after that, we're going to put else. And this will be our base setting. So if we're not flying, then rb.drag is equal to zero. Mouse x, the clamp. We're going to set it to normal, so negative 60 and 60. And then our transform to translate normal ground speed and normal ground speed. Okay, now for our character to rotate, 
it doesn't matter if we're flying or not so we actually put this outside of these individual scripts so we're not writing them twice and right here we're just going to simply put the base of any form of character movement transform.rotation is equal to quaternion.euler zero mouse y zero and of course lastly we're going to put camera.main so we're grabbing our main camera dot transform dot rotation so we're grabbing the camera's rotation value and we're going to say it's going to be equal to quaternion dot euler basically we're going to be just rotating the camera and we're going to say it's going to be based off of mouse x and mouse y okay now time for the real fun part the jumping yes we've covered this script a hundred times before so if you haven't gotten it before then here it is again so if we press this key and then when we release it or more like when we release the spacebar then we're going to be saying we jumped so is grounded is going to be equal to false and we're going to add a force saying you know we're going to be jumping our jump height and of course set input to fly this is a basic script so if you take a look right here is grounded is equal to true right here so and n is grounded and right here we say and n not is grounded so this little exclamation point that means not is grounded or is grounded is equal to false so whenever we press the spacebar down after we just released our spacebar and basically that means we just jumped when we release or press it down again it's going to say is flying is equal to true so pretty much we're just saying toggle on toggle off toggle on toggle off you know it's I, I tried different methods and all and that was the easiest one so yeah okay so lastly we're gonna create a new void so this is outside of the void update function and we're gonna put private void on collision enter collision collision don't worry about all that right there and we're going to put is grounded is equal to true and is flying is equal to false so pretty much if we hit anything inside the scene we're going to make this happen so if we hit a player is ground is equal to true and is flying is equal to false uh, if we hit a block is ground is equal to true is flying is equal to false you know whatever we hit it's going to have that happen so yeah that's about it if you want to check this out again we're going to go ahead and just press play and there we go pretty cool pretty cool and of course if you want to adjust these values on the player simply select the player roll down to the script and then you can adjust it from there so if you want to jump jump higher you can adjust the jump height if you want to float with a greater force so you want to boost faster you can adjust it there uh, of course if you want to fly faster going inside a specific direction you can adjust it there as well and of course underneath our world control if you think that the gravity strength is way too much just adjust it from there as well all right i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it please like it subscribe check out some of the videos share it to your friends i'll be happy to have them see some of my other videos and of course i'll see you guys next time